Bombers, they booted seven goals. Johnson with the ball, well tackled by Carousella, was outstanding in that third turn. Olorenshaw boots the ball back towards Hardwick. He's got McLeod to beat, so the Crows under a lot of pressure, both mentally and physically, goes short. Back towards Costa, he's got it. In front of his teammate and Connell. So he's on centre wing. Costa pumps the ball back to the half forward line. Robin, has he got the mark? Lucas wouldn't be too happy about that. I was going to say, yeah, Kevin, on today's standards, no, but it was a different umpire. No, he sure has caught one in the solar plexus. He played the push. Robram, he's looking for Jamison. This time, Wellman started playing in front. Moorcroft, influential player for the Bombers. Back to Somerville. It's a wild kick. Poor kick. And Chad Wilton-Till's got it. Could have gone short with a little bit of vision for Heffernan. So Rintoul just playing his seventh game. Got four goals for the season. And yet the kicker score today. It's an important one to just lift the confidence. Malcolm Blight left the group early in that third quarter. He said, work it out for yourself. So Rintoul's kick has got the distance, not the accuracy. But the Crows are point in front. To let off for uh, Peter Somerville. Roscoe, we saw a couple of things. We saw what Kevin was mentioning about Malcolm Blight yep. leaving the group early. We also saw Gary O'Donnell questioning... Uh, yes, he spent some time, up. yeah, just some time talking to officers, asking questions uh, about decisions that have been made and haven't been paid. Stevenson's kick, well gathered by Heffernan, but not able to clear. Robran to Wren, Bickley, and being held without the football is Allen. Is the advantage with the Crows? No, it'll have to come back. Allen will take the free kick just forward of set a win. And certainly held when he didn't have the football, Shane Allen. He kicks the ball well inside the uh, forward 50. Good mark taken back there by Peter Somerville. Played a fair game. Probably beaten in the ruck contest around the centre, but certainly taken quite a few marks. That's a good mark taken by Chad Bintool from in front of Scott Lucas, read it just a little better, had the run, Rintoul from between wing and half forward, kicks it past setter half forward, at the back, Wellman slaps it onto his right boot and fortuitously finishes with Carousella, for a young man, terrific composure, Barry Young, and that's holding, is the advantage with the Bombers, yes it is, kick forward by Laurentiu, got the two Collins, Two on one, Lucas gathers, can't break the tackle. Hand pass back to Hardwick, gets it out in the favour of McAllister. He in turn must get rid of it, and he's been penalised for throwing the ball. Gee, he had a couple of options in front of him, he saw him just too slow to get it off. An advantage not paid, McLeod, who had a brilliant first quarter. Evan started on the bench and has done well since he came on. Evan at right centre wing puts the Crows into attack again. They lead by a point. Oh, terrific mark to Wellman. Makes up for the one he dropped in the third turn. Yeah, the crowd didn't let him forget it either. Harvey, the crowd favourite today, playing his last game. Bickley's got him, but he still gets his kick. Long one it is too. Oh, Cockatoo Collins got it to the back of his opponent. Lloyd snaps and kicks. The Bombers have hit the front. That's a clever kick, Robo. Oh, smart. Just here for Harvey. Just gets his kick away in time. And then maybe, I oh, know, no shot there from couple two goals. Just a slipping. It's a smart kick, Robo. Just to keep it low. Not preferred foot on his right. Great finish for four goals. by 5 points, 77 plays, 72. The first time they've been in front today. Danaher thumps the ball forward. Taken by Bickley. Carousel of the tackler. Goes to ground, he's caught. Well, we're looking here in Blake Carousel. A mighty young player. Another big game. 16 possessions, two marks. Terrific in that third term. Kicks the ball, looking for Lucas, needed a bounce. He can get support from Danaher, outside of 50. Rockets the ball to Denham, he's going to run inside 50. Denham closing, 45 metres out, he's got it! Look at the Bombers fans now, Roscoe. 
Well, they'd be a bit reminiscent of yesterday, the Melbourne fans, when uh, Melbourne just seized to hit from the Dockers. The Dockers were something to play for. Adelaide was something to play for, but it's the sides that aren't involved in the finals that are causing the upsets. And Sean Denham, good finish. All the running with Essendon. Difficult to see Adelaide coming back. Plenty of time, obviously, but you have to lift their running out of the centre. Nine goals to two after half time. Oh, a terrific comeback by the Bombers since half time. Wren. Somerville there with just momentarily thought about soccering it forward. Heffernan does well on Costa. Hardwick, still Carousella, and the umpire will bounce. And this is after the Crows kicked the first five goals of the game too, Robert. It's hard yeah, to believe, isn't it? Well, very similar to uh, the Tigers yesterday, I guess. The, uh, gee, the spirit is enormous. Essendon with really nothing to fight for except pride. And making it difficult, Stevenson not able to break away. So the umpire will bounce once again. We have a scoreboard here at the ground that shows that Essendon are 13 4 82, Adelaide are 10 12 72. So I'm not quite certain as to whether the uh, rush behind just before three quarter time has been allowed or disallowed. We'll check that out. Bond back to Connell. Connell's kicked to half forward. Good mark. Taken by Jamison. Four points, 25,164 here this afternoon. And what a contest they're seeing. The Bombers have given it everything. Harvey in his last game for the Dons. Out towards centre wing, McAllister. Little hand pass, not really to the advantage of his side. Allen pressuring his opponent down there. And uh, Heffernan. Well, real up and under kick. That'll bring rain. Oh, big fly from Lloyd. Matthew Lloyd. He got a mile in the air. If you could have grabbed that, it would have been mark of the year. It would have been. <laughs> and see Lloyd's. Oh, gee, over Hart, who himself has taken mark of the year. Just outside 50. Wren. Somerville has done well. Harvey got a push. McAllister paddles it in front. Bond goes with him. Oh, great tackle. Ball jarred free. Get him. Picks it up well. Pings it back towards the forward pocket. Cockatoo Collins has been dangerous, didn't get the bounce that he wanted as Smart tails him over the line it'll be thrown in about 40 metres from goal. It's been elusive today, Shea, he's kicked four goals. Lloyd's got four and Morkoff has got three. Get him again, goes at goal. Not bad, not bad, it's great! Terrific kick for the little fella. Denham kicks his second, and the Bombers have the answers here. Well, he's only kicked six goals, Pete, coming to this game for the season. He's kicked two beauties today, none better than this. He'd be very happy with that, just to deliberately have a shot for goal. Well, he's had and a good game. back. He's had 20 possessions, and both of those goals, Roscoe, have come in this final yes. quarter. Michael Pryor back on for wrestling, down to a half foot flank. McAllister went off, the youngster looked a little bit tired in a couple of those passages of play just in the last few minutes, just playing his second game of AFL footy Moorcroft applies the pressure, Kane Johnson those quick hands, so the Crows come forward through Connell, good mark to Wallace kicks the ball wide, the Bombers look like they've got plenty of run Wellman, this time in front of Modric just kicked the one goal today, Tony Modric Wellman just try to do a bit too much. Need support. No Essendon play. You can see there in the picture. Kicked off the ground by Lloyd. That's clever play. Needing the bounce is Harvey. He'd be happy to see it trickle over. They'll toss it back in. You can see Kevin Sheedy there. Getting a bit edgy in the seat. Curls, what's your thoughts? Well, with no Jarman, and Rashuda and Bickley contributing greatly for the Crows, you know, they're under the real pump and it just looks like the Essendon side is just a bit more going at the moment. Hard to get around Moorcroft. He's a great tackler. So Bond goes short. Looking for Costa. Tries a one-hander. Again, they'll throw the ball back. Malcolm Blight. Sitting there pretty quietly, Robbo. Well, I guess there's not much you can do, really. In a tight finish, you really have to rely on the uh, discipline of all of your players. And don't forget the Today Tonight special hosted by Peter Luck on that tragic accident in Paris that claimed the life of Princess Diana. Caven from Wren up towards left half forward. 
No mark down there, Wallace. Jarman applies a tackle. Oh, gee, that was uh, interesting. Boots going in there, and he's kicking in danger. Boyd picks himself up, nothing for it. So bounce inside 50. 12 minutes left in the final quarter. Robwin applies a tackle. 14-4, great kicking by Essendon, Adelaide 11-12. After the half-time, it's been all Essendon, and that man there, number 46, you saw Gary Moorcroft, has livened things up in more ways than one. Kicking three goals, putting Vardy out of the contest. And McLaren puts it down, Somerville, who's been good. Costa grabbed, didn't have it, Bickley's got it, free kick crows. Kim Costa's going to be the recipient, too far out to score from there. Squares the ball, and Wren on the end of it. Could have gone to Wren too as well. 84, the Bombers in front, Ola Renshaw. Gets it back to Carousella. Another big game by the youngster, pumps it back towards Lloyd. The high flyer also, looked like it was Hardwick. The ball ricochets back to Hardwick. Shovels the ball out to Lloyd, 45 metres out, around the corner. On behind. Got some exciting young players, the Bombers. Hart goes short, sets it up to Allen. Kicks the ball long, rends the target. Couldn't take a one-hander against Harvey, playing his last game of league football. Game number 206, Bickley, the skipper, pumps down to the half-forward line, Modra. Looks like he's been moved up to the half-forward line now. He's only kicked the one goal, he's had few touches. It's a poor kick, being marked by Wallace. Wallace looks to play on. Ducks and weaves and then gets it out wide. Pryor, who may have just come onto the ground. He spent a fair bit of time on the bench. Short kick is all right. He's found Lucas. He loves to run, Scott Lucas. Backed his ability in the pace stakes. Up towards full forward. Nigel Smart. A tackle on pocket to Collins. Nothing happening. So the umpire will bounce. Nigel Smart and Cockatoo Collins and not really much in that so the umpire bounces about 30 metres out from the Essendon goal had to use some fancy footwork to get out of the road there of Shea Cockatoo Collins did the umpire and eventually the ball trickles over for a boundary throw in only a matter of about 25 metres around from the Bombers goal the game's still there to be won by either side 89 plays 84 we've still got 9 minutes left in this game just past the halfway mark, therefore. Bond and Rashido can share it. Bond had to get past Barry Young. Connell, good effort. Caven, now Rashido again as they share it around out of defence, the Crows. Modra, up on centre wing. And as we suggested moments back, probably moved up to uh, centre half forward. That's a good mark. Chalmers, still at midfield. Robbo said the game's there to be won, that may be a free kick, no, the umpire, and, oh, gee, that might cost him, a, cost him the match, loose ball, Essendon's half forward line, Cockatoo Collins gets overrun by Smart, and a little bump there by McLeod, now let's see, why did he play on, was it touched? It was, Pete, it was called touched, good smother by Wallace. Right. Game's got everything. We saw a thriller here yesterday with Carlton and Richmond, another one today. Barry Young against Wren. Wren has the height, slaps the front, Moorcroft nearly. Wren just paddles it out wide. And taken over the line there by Johnson. And also Chris Heffernan. Only playing his third game, a youngster from the Geelong Falcons in the under-18 competition, so throw in. Essendon's left half forward flank, the difference is five points. Same two Ruckman, it's going to be Young against Wren. Young, oh it does well. Young centres it with a kick over the shoulder, up towards Lloyd. He's just back on the ground, Pryor, he's gone long. Come to Collins! And the goal spread is marked. And the Heifert has a chance for number five. Not doing anything silly. Mickey Pryor said, why don't you let it go? <laughs> Shepherd it through. There's other than those situations, you've got to go for the mark because you're not sure where the defender is, whether he might just get a hand on it if you try and shepherd him off, or if it bounces uh, 
Awfully one way or the other doesn't go on. You would have marked it, Kevin, wouldn't you? Absolutely. <laughs> 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 Shepherding the ball through wouldn't have ended my mind. I got on you, Kevin. Should be his fifth. It is. Scoreboard shows 94 plays 84. So the ball loose inside the centre square. Danaher gets the ball out towards Denham. Bickley was held. Harvey gets a quick kick back towards centre half forward. Could be a loose ball. Dangerous here. Prior. Three kicks being paid. It's going to Smart. Now the scoreboard is right now, Kevin. I it's think just been small, changed. No, the smaller numbers are wrong. They were 94 to 84 it's right now. So they got the big numbers back on the scoreboard. So it's 95 plays 84. It's 11 point ball game. Robin's got it. Long way out from goal, a good 65 metres. So he can't score, but he kicks long. Jamison's the danger player down there. Not Tony Modra, he's had a, another lean day. Jamison desperate over the ball with Wellman. He's been on him all day as well. Jamison has booted six goals. And there's a ball up. So a big play here for the Crows. Under seven minutes of action left. They trail by 11 points. Quick kick, eight early, but the Bombers, to their credit, they've just uh, edged their way in front, they lead by 10 points, they get the ball right away there through Heffernan in the finish, down towards their half forward line, whereas it is gathered by McLeod to Rintoul, in turn a little high, but plenty of space there for Bickley, Bickley approaches and then kicks, in towards the full forward area. Ola Renshaw and Bond take it to the line. I think the Bombers would be happy with a boundary throw in. They've still got enough time for the Crows to kick probably three or four goals. There's still six minutes left, but they need at least two to wrench away the lead from the Bombers. Malcolm Blight, still pretty well under control there. Somerville to himself, Moorcroft. Little bit of a down under kick, really. Ola Renshaw gets it out wide. Carousella, I'm very impressed with his composure. Just a young fellow. The kick advantages the Bombers. Hard work, out wide. Go hard, he's not quite quick enough. And he knows he's just lost that yard of pace. He brought down the kick by Connell. Out wide. Chalmers. Blumfield does well. Chris Danner has absolutely taken Darren Jarman out of the game. Blumfield again into the pocket, Lloyd but marked safely by Wren. Wren comes across the ground, Throws have got to get something going now, they've only got five minutes left in the match, Costa from Caven, the half forward of the marking contest, Robren comes out with the footy, kicks around Wallace, onto Bond, Bond marks that right half forward flank, long way from goal, kicked the goal earlier at the other end, but that was a lot closer in. Would know a little bit about this ground, having played a few games here with the Blues. With, the, with Carlton, yes. Ten points is the margin, the Crows need two goals in just under five minutes, if they're to pinch it, Bond, or oh, give one. Can the Crows get up and steal the game from the Bombers after they look to have it all parceled up earlier? Jarman was a star in the first quarter, and he has to give it back to the umpire. So Darren Jarman on screen, 11 positions, kicked three goals. All coming in that first half. Danaher's been his minder, good tackle by Wren. So the ball's forced forward. Chance for the Crows, Modra. Looked a little bit better out in the half forward line in this game. Denham, he's got Bickley to beat. Ola Renshaw's been good today. Kicks the ball hurriedly. Still inside the centre square, Pryor. Didn't, didn't elect to fly, Harvey. It's a hurry kick back towards the half forward line. The race is on. McLeod. Ball is over the line. They'll toss it back. 95 not, plays, 91. Not a bad spot for a cover either, just to get that ball out the other side. Well, a big chance for the Bombers. Just under four minutes left. Wren. Danaher over the top. Jarman. Can he set it up from the half back line? Gets it out towards Kane Johnson. Moorcroft. Happy to take it over. He's been a great player today. He's booted three goals. It's been tough. Big incident with Vardy in the third term, which seemed to turn this game around. Did. Big physical bump. 
in that centre square. Sent him off with a big headache. Jarman pumps the ball back to the half forward line. Ola Renshaw's got Bond to beat. Wallace has been good today in defence, tough and strong. Carousella, he's a star of the future, kicks to space, it's a good kick. Pryor just needs a kind bounce, he gets it. He wants support, kicks the ball up, he was looking for Harvey. Smart read it well, it was a poor option. Smart goes short, Robin's got it on 50. Crow's looking dangerous now, Smart's come all the way down. He's been bypassed, front of the square, the high flyer. Good play by Blumfield, gets it back to Denham, the Bombers are away. Harvey in the centre of the ground. He's got loose players on the wing. It's been ignored, so Harvey decides to go back towards the half forward line. It's a poor kick, it's four against one. Lux of fortune, comes back out to Barry Young. This is bouncing. Oh. Mm, one point. Still not really uh, conclusive enough, was it? There are uh, five points is the margin. And uh, nothing really for the Bombers to relax on. Two and a half minutes left. Red marks the kick in in front of Matthew Lloyd. Gets the hand pass away. A bit of urgency now by the Crows. Shane Allen from halfback to centre wing. Kicks to Bond. He misses it. Spills down to Wallace. Just controlling that last line of defence. Like a general. A wobbly punt kick to half forward. Gathered by Hardwick. Allowed Young in. Go Matthew Lloyd. Matthew Lloyd. Kicks the fifth goal. Five goals to Lloyd. Five goals to Cockatoo Collins. Three to Moorcroft. Two to Denham. And the Bombers again have that 11 point advantage. Yes, and Dean Wallace has been very good today. KB, I agree with you. He's done one of the best games I've seen him play. And just was able to get that ball forward from a uh, loose ball situation in a half back line. And the goal results. Justifiably happy to Matthew Lloyd. Well, Kevin Sheedy will be celebrating his 400th game as coach with a victory. 11 points to go, and Eston are going to come away. Kane Johnson's kicked the half forward. Robin a little give. Modra, maybe there's still time, but they would have to get a couple of goals really quickly. Jamison goes in, so too does Blumfield. It's what Eston will need at a boundary line, and they've found it. That's an experienced hit on very young shoulders. They reckon they're going to come away here, the Bombers. They've completely taken the Crows apart in the second half. Rin, Costa, Neely, no. And out of bounds. 12 goals to three. 12 goals to five, actually, in the second half, Pete, to Eastman. Well, they've beaten two finals in the last couple of weeks. Brisbane up in uh, Brisbane. Big performance. Adelaide here at Optus Oval. Malcolm Blight just making a few comments. But remember, they were five goals down in the first quarter, the Bombers. Here's a Mark Jamison. He's been great. He's booted six today. They run to Mark Harvey as well. This has been a Sports AFL production. The